This one, 42 ticks wave, goes one better than last year to secure an overall win in the Giraglia Rolex Cup. You're watching the Selling Updates Desktop News. Welcome to the office. 206 yachts are participating in the 62nd edition of this nautical contest, which has run every year since 1953. The 241 nautical mile offshore race from Saint Tropez to Monte Carlos go via the Giraglia Rock, located at the northern tip of Corsica. As the quadruple America's Cup winner Brad Butterworth puts it, the Giraglia is a challenge. It's a tough race and it's hard to call, but it's a nice race because it's uh, not that long and uh, you know the conditions are usually pretty perfect. The predicted tricky wind conditions puts an end to any hope of bettering the race record. Super Maxi Esimit Europa 2 crosses the finish line of Monte Carlo 24 hours later and secures her fourth line on his victory. It was better than expected because we never stopped 100% so we always had slight breeze down to two or three knots. Featuring Pierre Kaziragi of Monaco in his crew, the arrival is a special moment for the Slovenian owner of the Super Maxi. For us, it was the best uh, arriving in my life. Uh, it's really unique and the idea to finish the race in Monte Carlo is really great. Winning a mythic race like the Giraglia is every racing yachtsman's dream. Bernard Vananti, skippering Swiss yacht Tix Wave, is declared the overall winner on corrected time. We've been battling just for this. We're not professionals, so obviously we are delighted to beat them. It's so pleasing! The focus then turns to the inauguration of the Yacht Club de Monaco's splendid new clubhouse, conducted by the club's president, His Highness Prince Albert II. Ireland, America, Solitaire de Figaro, Marseille, Isle of Wight. The world of sailing in two minutes flat is next. Welcome to the office. From Ireland, an all Scandinavian final at the Women's Match Racing World Championships held in Cork. Strong but very shifting and puffy winds, together with a swift current, the conditions put the sailors to the test. Leading 2-1 on the scorecard, Swedish skipper Anna Klesberg manages to break away in the fourth race. She takes the lead to secure third point in the world title. From America, Light Air dominates the 160th New York Yacht Club annual regatta presented by Rolex. With 189 teams competing, this is the largest turnout in the history of the event, which is also the oldest regatta in the country. Local favorite and world-traveling Bellamente wins the IRC Class 1 for the largest yachts. From Marseille, the 12th edition of the Voile de Vieux Port is a gathering of boats loaded with history. The competing yachts were all built between the second half of the 19th century and the end of the 20th. These beauties carry on the passion of their owners and transmit a magnificent maritime heritage from generations to generations. From England, the Randy Island race gather 1,585 boats and close to 16,000 crew members. Starting at dawn, the competitors begin the race at snail pace due to a very light wind. 715 boats complete the race and it will take almost 10 hours for the first monohull to cross the finish line. Minutes before the starting pistol had been fired in Roscoff, there was more dramas in La Solitaire du Figaro's. As the fleet of 38 solo sailors prepare to set off on leg 3, Fabien Delay breaks part of his rigging. The 29-year-old, who has been the overall leader after the first two legs, is forced to return to the dock for repairs. When Jan was dismasted with the same damage, he was leading the leg. That's life. His short team quickly replaced the cable and Fabien was able to restart a couple of hours later. Yvon Bournion's challenge has arrived in Darwin, located in Northern Territory, Australia. 50,000 players are following the same route 
at the top of the overall standing and carrying the US flag is Black Arrow. The next stage of this crazy world tour will begin on Sunday, June 22, towards Bali, Indonesia. We are also patiently awaiting for the upcoming start of the North Atlantic record. Standing by in New York are Bank Popular 7, skipped by Armel Leclerc and Spindrift, led by Dona Betterly. As the two maxi trimarans are awaiting for the right weather window, so are we. The next event on virtual regatta is this Atlantic record. A nice uh, mix between uh, fleet race and a record attempt. The players uh, will have all summer to find the ideal weather window. And as of next week, we'll also have the mighty Tour de France, an event dear to our heart. On another note, you've probably noticed the inshore game is in beta mode, so of course there are some bugs at the moment. Uh, remodeling it is a huge task and some players are giving their feedback to the game's developers, thanks to them. We received so many very precise feedback from the players. It's great, because for example, it has allowed us to pinpoint a very rare issue the game had and recreate the bug internally in order to fix it. And that's only thanks to the players' feedback. So a much better, more stable intro game will be back very soon. The intro game should be back to normal very soon. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.